Hello and welcome. Decision theory, decision making under uncertainty using probability. And we have already discussed that probability of each and every state of nature can be found through various techniques and they can be used to calculate expected payoff or expected monetary value by directly using the data of payoff. The probability can also be used to find out the expected opportunity loss or expected regret. The process is almost same but first we have to find out the opportunity loss or regret. In case of payoff, the opportunity loss can be calculated by selecting the highest payoff of the state of nature and subtracting all the payoffs from it. In case of S1, the highest payoff is 12. So, 12 minus 12, that will be 0. 12 minus 10 will be 2. 12 minus 8 will be 4. In case of S2, highest is 28. Let's subtract, subtract all from it. 28 minus 14 will be 14. 28 minus 28 will be 0. 28 minus 24 will be 4. In case of S3, the highest is 40. So 40 minus 18 will be 22. 40 minus 32 will be 8. And 40 minus 40 will be 0. Now, all these opportunity losses of all the alternatives can be treated as X. And as we know that X into P of X will give us the expected value. Let's find out the expected values of all these opportunity losses and zero into point four zero, fourteen into point five seven, twenty two into point one two point two, it comes to nine point two. Two into point four is point eight, zero into point five zero, eight into point one is point eight, total is one point six. Four into point four, one point six, four into point five two, and zero into point one zero, the total comes to three point six. And in case of opportunity loss or expected opportunity loss or expected regret. The action or act or strategy having the lowest EOL should be selected. So in this case, the decision maker should select alternative or action A2. A2 should be selected. That's it. Thank you very much.